Hey guys, this is Galactic Marine 501 slash Jackson Wolfexia, and I'm wearing a an Angry Birds Bird is the Word t-shirt. But anyway, this is going to be a review of the high-grade Unicorn Gundam Destroy Mode. Now, I have to shed some light on something that I said in my um, unbox that won't make sense to any of you guys. Uh, and that's about the high-grade Sinanju. Now, I had this guy. I've had him for a while. I thought I reviewed him at that point, but I didn't. And the reason is, if you remember, my YouTube account went down for a while. Um, and, yeah, I wasn't able to review anything, so I reviewed some kits on my on my desktop thing, and I forgot to upload them. So, yeah. But anyway, um, I'll get a review of this guy up next. So, yeah. He's he's a really good kit. He is. So, if you have the choice of getting him and the unicorn, get him. But anyway, on to the actual unicorn. Um, and the reason I actually got that guy first, because I really wanted to get the unicorn first. And I've got a bruise on my arm. Um, but anyway, um, the reason I got him first is because he was the deal of the week on Gundam Store and more for a week or so. And so I decided to get him. Um, if we ever get the the Kshatriya on the deal of the week, I will jump all over that because I really want to get the Kshatriya. I love the Kshatriya. It's a great mobile suit. The pilot has a great backstory. Um, so, yeah. Um, and, anyway, the unicorn. The first accessory it comes with is the shield. Uh, it looks really nice. Um, the only complaint I have is the fact that if you don't, if you, every once in a while the top will come unpegged, but it doesn't happen that often, so it's fine. Um, for articulation, he's got really nice articulation. I don't know if this is just mine, but when you bend this elbow, the joint separates, so you gotta pinch that together every now and again. Which kind of stinks here. Actually, I gotta pinch it together right now. There. But anyway, yeah, it does do that. And um, yeah, if you can see, it is already separating a little after I just bent it that much. This one is fine for the most part. It's just this one, it seems. And oh, there we go. If you push it down a little more, then it, I think now it'll be a little better. Yeah. A little less problem there. Because now it's being held in a little more by the shoulder guard. Which, yeah, that'll work for now. I'm thinking about maybe switching it out for the extra polycap. I think I had another one of those. Yeah, I did. Um, but anyway, so anyway, here he is. Sorry I didn't review him yesterday. My mojo was way off. Um, I kept getting off on side ch tangents that would take up the whole video. And I'm like, oh wait, I didn't review him. But anyway... Onto his the rest of his accessories. First of all, the shield has this clip on the back, which can be put into the um, arm on this arm, which is the arm that he has it on in the show. It can be put on either arm, but I like this arm because it's accurate, and um, that's good. And by the way, um, I'm not. I don't really care about this, but. He can store all of his accessories, and I believe he can he can store all of the unique accessories for this kit on him, because I think the unicorn unicorn the unicorn unicorn mode comes with the shield, which is his variant, which would be the shield just opened. Um, it also comes with the bazooka, which this guy can store. Also, they both can store it there. The accessories are swa are interchangeable, which is good. I mean. It would be, I mean, some people would like to get a bazooka with this, but, I mean, I don't care because I'm going to get both of them anyway. And, I mean, it saves you a little money because if they gave you all the accessories with both, you'd pay for the extra beam magnum with the unicorn mode and the extra bazooka with this guy, so that's cool. And anyway, here's the beam magnum, and it's nice. It really is. It's got the flip-out handle here is good so you can hold it with both hands now it can store in two places 
I think one of these places he this mode usual, utilizes, and one of these places the unicorn unicorn mode utilizes. Oh, and by the way, um, the it's got a peg so it fits into the hand rather well. Um, it unfortunately it can't do that with the normal hand. I mean, I don't even know if the normal hand can fit it. I hope it can because that's part of my plan for the um, unicorn unicorn. I'm gonna have him with the beam magnum and the um, bazooka and this guy with the baraka beam sabers and this can peg into the arm like so for storage there on the back of the arm which is nice um, but also if that weren't enough like if that place weren't enough you can also um, flip up another peg if you see that little fin right here you can flip this out like so and that produces a peg that you can then use to attach it to the backpack which is also good um, now that aside um, he can also store his shield on his backpack what you do is you take the shield off of the arm it's kinda tight which is good but also not at the same time and you see the clip, you pull the clip out, you replace it with this little clip, which has a peg and then a which has a peg and then a flat peg for, on the other side. You put the round peg into there, and you have the flat peg sticking out, and then you can put the flat peg into the hole on the back, push it in, and then you can sort of position the shield to your liking, which is good. I like that. I don't know if his shield collapses when he's when he has it on his back. I would do I would collapse the shield so it's not so big on my back, but that's just me. But then he has um, actually back to the beam magnum. He does come with an extra clip for the beam magnum. They cannot be swapped. However, this one can be stored on the butt. I'm going to do that off camera and just show it to you. Which, because of the beam magnums, like uh, because of the way the beam magnum fires, it's good to have extra ammo. Because I think it only has one shot. Like I think these are one, two, three, four, five shot clips. So it's good to have extra ammo. So anyway, there's the clip on the back skirt. And the problem with moving around is, with messing with the back skirts is that these rockets they never want to seat in the same place. So, um, yeah, you'll have to readjust those. He also has the extra thrusters on his back, on the backs of his legs, and the ones that pop out of the sides of the backpack, which is nice. He also has the normal two on the backpack, but, yeah, those, the, we've seen those before. Well, if we have the unicorn unicorn mode. But anyway, um, it's not all he comes with. He has the two beam savers on the back, which can fit a standard HGUC beam, like these, but he doesn't come with any. He also has what I love, being a fan of Mortal Kombat, which are beam savers that flip out of the arms. It would be awesome if they shifted out, just like shot out of there. Um, but if you've played any Mortal Kombat, then the blades being coming right out of the arms should remind you of somebody. Um, Baraka, who is one of who is, I think he's my third best character, Scorpion being my first, and then Cyber Sub-Zero. No, not Cyber Sub-Zero. Uh, let's see. Milena was, would probably be my second. Cyber Sub-Zero, um, I'm okay with him. Never been really good with Sub-Zero. Scorpion I've always been good with. Um, Baraka I've always sort of been good with. But anyway, he can have his beam sabers coming out of his arms like so. Or, if you really want to, you can pop a beam saber out, and then this would flip back in and look weird because there's no beam saber to fill in the... Yeah, oh wait, no. It pegs in pretty well. Yeah, it, it's a little loose in there now, but that's because the beam saber's gone. But anyway, then you can just slip the beam saber into the holding hand. And now he's got a beam saber coming out of his hand. I like the arm beam savers better because they're, um, again, 
Street again, uh, Street Fighter, damn it. I've been playing Street Fighter recently because um, my friend challenged me because I kick his butt in Mortal Kombat every time we play. So, yeah. Okay, and um, I noticed my eyes are a little out of whack. But anyway, um, I'll fix that later. Uh, oh god, my camera just froze. I'm sorry if that froze for a few seconds, but I don't know. Um, yeah, but anyway, here's the unicorn with his beam sabers. And yeah, the eyes are a little out of whack if you can see it. But anyway, he's got decent articulation. However, in some places it's detrimental, like the arms, that those arm joints I really don't like. And the shoulders are another place where it's hard to get a good pose. Really got to be careful because the shoulders are so many parts, but you can get them out so a ways. And, I mean, if you really try, you can get him into a really decent pose. I almost want to get a second one of this guy um, and do, like, try to paint him up and make him look a little more like Baraka, which would be awesome. Um, and I would probably give him some yellow beam sabers because I do have an extra pair of those. Um, actually, the extra pair has a very odd backstory, but, yeah. So, anyway, here he is, which is... This guy is pretty darn cool. If you're a fan of Unicorn, grab this guy. He's a nice kit. He's a great suit in the show. If you like the this guy more than the other one, obviously get this guy. If you like him the same, try to get both. I mean, I know. I mean, I know that doesn't solve your price problems. The other one's cheaper, and if you like them both the same, that would that may be an influencing decision. The other one probably also has less issues with parts popping off because um, it, it, it won't have as many parts to make up different armor plates because of the fact that it doesn't have the psycho frame showing. But anyway, um, in conclusion, yeah. And he could store every weapon on him, by the way. You can have the shield on the back or on the arm, the magnum in the hand, and a beam saber in the other hand. Or, if the shield's on the arm, then you're out of hands. But, yeah, that's always good. And if you have the other one, he can store the bazooka on the back, I'm pretty sure. Or if he can't, then he can have it in the hand and the beam magnum on the back. Or in or on the back of the arm. So this guy could store a lot of weapons. I hope they make a full armor. I don't know if they actually have one yet. That would be cool. Um, I would definitely buy it. Actually, I'm also trying to track down the airline version. I know they have an airline version of this guy that's blue. has a blue psycho frame. I'd love to get that, by the way. But, yeah. So, I'll see you guys at the next review of the Sinanju. Um, but this has been Galactic Marine 501 slash Jackson Wolfexia. Yeah, out. Um, and, by the way, I am going to be getting the Unicorn Unicorn mode come near November when I can get kits because I'll have money and it'll be near my birthday so whatever uh, I may end up getting them sooner if I come into some money but right now it looks like November is my next big Gundam like the next time I can order them from online I may be able to buy some at a hobby shop in between because I am coming into a little money but it's mostly cash so yeah um, and my birthday money will probably be in cash or gift cards. If it's, like, to Walmart or Target, I can give them to my mom, and she'll buy groceries with them, and she'll give me money to use online, which is good, obviously. So, I'll see you guys. I know that was more information, but I'll be getting them sometime soon. So, yeah. Stay tuned for the Sinanju, which may be a two-part review, because he does have a lot of stuff. And a lot of stuff to do with that stuff. And I also custom painted this guy, so it's not the best. So, whatever. Um, I'll see you guys.